Hey guys, welcome back. I just wanted to interject on this intro. First of all, I'll say thank you for the amazing year. And secondly, to say that this puzzle right here is without a doubt my favorite sequential discovery puzzle of the year. And I appreciate all of you guys who like this video and subscribe. So thanks for that and enjoy the video. Yo, what's up and welcome back. Bit of a different situation today. Um, normally we'd be sitting at the desk uh, to solve a puzzle, but I don't know. I just feel like chilling on the couch solving a puzzle today. And I'm really looking forward to the puzzle that we have today. This is Angry Walter. Here's what Angry Walter looks like. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. Uh, designed by Deadwood Crafts. Uh, thank you for purchasing a prototype of Angry Walter from Deadwood Crafts. Rules, no force necessary, no spinning, no prying, no striking, hitting, or whacking, no crying or whining unless necessary. The goal is to find and remove Walter's black power cell before he dominates mankind. So I like the look of this puzzle. I found it on an auction uh, for about a grand. You can check it out. I don't know if he has any for sale right now, but deadwoodcrafts.com, I left the link below if you wanna help support another puzzle creator. It looks nice and it looks well built, it's sturdy, and this is my kind of puzzle right here. This is a sequential discovery puzzle, which not only means that there's a sequence to it, hence the sequential, but there's also discovery, meaning there are tools hidden in this puzzle. So there's a sequence plus tools that makes a sequential discovery, and those are my favorite type of puzzles. I think without any further ado, Let's let's chill, figure this out. Like this video and subscribe if you guys like my videos. Appreciate all that you guys are doing. Let's just chill on the couch and have a good time. <laughs> Solve this puzzle. All right, so here we are on my couch. Um, I don't know, I just thought this was an interesting setup for the day. What's also fun about this angle is that this is how I actually enjoy solving puzzles. When I'm by myself, like I am now in the office, um, I like to chill on the couch and a lot of times while I'm watching TV or just on my phone, I'll have a puzzle beside me and I'll, I'll tinker with it. And today's a chill day. Everybody's gone out of the office and I've really, I'm really, really looking forward to solving this puzzle. Um, as I mentioned, I found it on an auction. It was a prototype, so ran me about $1,000 USD, $1,050, which is quite a bit for a little wooden puzzle. But as you guys know, you know, these handcrafted sequential discovery puzzles that are out there, I mean, they go from anywhere from $500 to $2,500. Uh, so it's a good market if you're actually good at woodworking and uh, ingenious enough to come up with an original solution to a puzzle. Uh, I highly suggest getting into the puzzle market because a lot of money to be made. Uh, but there is a lot of work put into these. So, you know, you're getting paid for your time pretty much. So first things first, I got to get used to this weird angle because the camera's also upside down. So it's kind of throwing me off. Here it is, Angry Walter. Look at Angry Walter. He doesn't seem so angry to me. Uh, seems kind of, actually, maybe a little bit angry. Here's what it looks like. So on the back, uh, there are barely any seams. The seams don't seem to be, don't seem to be, uh, and there doesn't seem to be any opening to them. Uh, there's this cog wheel on the side, which does not move. It is fixed. I believe it's glued there. On this side, same thing, another cog wheel, once again glued. The nose as well is stationary and does not move. I feel like I can give you a better angle. So my monitor is upside down right now, so it's hard for me to. Okay, let's get into solving this. Um, the other thing I noticed is that on the bottom, there is this tiny little hole uh, and there seems to be just solid wood on the other side of that hole. My guess is that we will be given a tool that uh, needs to be inserted here, possibly. The other thing is that this eye rotates, does not come out. Uh, this eye does come out and it has a little, it's got a little compartment on the inside, but nothing in that compartment. And on the inside here, there is, almost looks like his eye was put in backwards. And I think that's where we're going to start is uh, doing something like that. Pretty much all we got to go on here, looking at this puzzle, no force, no spinning, no spinning necessary, no prying, no striking, hitting, whacking, no crying or whining unless necessary. <laughs> when is it ever necessary to cry and whine? And my guess is to get the, uh, the mouth open would be like the final step. So I'm going to try to rotate the eye. Sorry if you can't see. 
And I'm just basically rotating the eye and letting gravity, because it does come out a little bit, letting sort of gravity maybe make it fall out. And that's a no-go. Um, and the, oh, by the way, a bunch of noises coming from the inside. So there is like a, there's like a slant probably in the mouth like a groove area and there is a bead there like a little bearing I believe there is another noise but it's hard to tell with that one clunking around like that okay let me try I'm gonna take this eye slowly rotate it while I rotate this one upside down to see if uh... Let's see if anything happens Nothing seems to be happening there either. Oh, we should probably start a timer. We just got started anyways, right, didn't we? Oh. Maybe this has a magnetic part to it. That would actually be kind of smart. Oh, 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 right here. There's another magnet on the inside and there's a magnet in here. And the reason I can tell uh, that it's a magnet on the inside is because it's repelling, as you can see. So there is a magnet on the inside of this. There's a magnet here. I don't know if I have to work those two magnets together maybe to spin this around. I'm, I'm also spinning this while I do this. All right. Doesn't seem to be working. So there is a magnet here, right here. Oh, did you hear that? Listen. Oh, there. There's some type of switch. Okay, let me hold on to that. Oh! Aha! Wait, what? Oh. Oh, cool. But how would it unlock that? Okay, so that, this little groove here, this little groove slides is what allows this to come out. But how did that get retracted in the first place? Because it doesn't attract it. Oh, because it's already pushed in because of that thing's there. And so I just had to hold it in place like that. Because then that would allow me to take it out of there. I see. Okay, that's pretty clever. That's pretty clever. Now, does this come out? This does come out. Now we're, we're left with a little tool, as you can see, a little magnet in there. This is where that magnet was sort of attached to down there. Okay, so we have this magnet. Let's try not to lose these pieces, can we? This should probably stick to this. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Now there was a magnet back here. Right here, yeah, look. So I don't know what that magnet is necessarily for, but I have a feeling that we're gonna find out. Maybe another switch mechanism. There's an, maybe there's another magnet somewhere. Oh, uh, maybe I gotta grab the bead that's in here and sort of like stick it to this end of the magnet. That might actually be, that may actually be a solution here if I do that. Huh. Oh, see what I'm, okay, here's my train of thought, really. Basically, so these lines, maybe there's some type of map. Maybe there's like an internal labyrinth or maze, and like this is like maybe the different traps or something. Maybe that would make sense. 
Just gotta figure out if that bead goes anywhere. Because right now it's sort of in this groove. You can hear it warbling around. And now it's on the front side. And now it's above the mouth. Yeah, it seems to be just a box in there, unless there's like a hole here somewhere. It seems to be just like a, a little box in there, but I don't know if there's like some type of opening for the marble to fall into. That may actually be what I need to do is get that marble in there somewhere. Like find the hole. It doesn't seem to be attracted by the magnet. I don't know if the magnet maybe isn't strong enough. Maybe I gotta use this magnet? Where was it? It was here. Uh, right now I'm just kind of tilting it side to side, holding the magnet in different places. Hopefully the uh, little bearing inside will uh, will stick to it somehow. Oh. No. I need some type of tool to poke into that. Why is this compartment empty? This happens sometimes, but I have a like a weird suspicion that there might have been something in here. And when I maybe took it out of the box, because this fell out when I received it, because it's just kind of loose in there. And I was holding it and it fell out. And I'm wondering if there wasn't a tool that was in here that fell out that I may have needed, maybe even to poke that open. This is a... Uh, <laughs> It's funny because like when you're solving puzzles, it happens often that if you like your brain starts rationalizing um, and justifying why you can't come up with a solution. And it's, it's quite funny because most of the times you're just wrong, but sometimes you're right. Like sometimes I'll play with a puzzle for hours and hours and hours. Now I've only been doing this one for like 15 minutes or so, but I'll play with puzzles for hours. And then my brain's like, well, it's got to be broken because I can't come up with a solution. And so then I'm thinking, oh, it's broken. I'm missing a piece. Something's stuck. Uh, and most of the time I'm wrong and I just didn't fall on that solution. So my brain right now, this is, this is, the, this is the process that my brain's going through right now. My brain is telling me that there might have been a piece here. Now it's going back into my memories to see if, oh, was there a piece that I might have dropped? This did fall out earlier, so maybe there was, you know what I mean? Like I'm rationalizing right now, but I can't 100% be sure that there wasn't something in here. Um, so for now, I mean, we'll just move along without it. Oh, listen. There's something else that's magnetic in the back of this. Hmm. There's still this part here that repels this magnet. Don't want to break anything either. There's a little seam here. Could just be the ex like an expansion of the wood. Here's like a pill bottle where you gotta press it and open it. <laughs> Everybody's first level three puzzle was a pill bottle. <laughs> <laughs> you had to push down and turn before you opened it. Surprised they haven't gotten more clever with those. I mean, everybody knows how to open those. Okay, nothing seems to move here. Oh, is this magnetic, maybe? No magnets on here either. Hmm, okay. Interesting. I'm trying so hard to not... <laughs> give up <laughs> i know it's only been it hasn't been that long but like literally my my brain is like hey man i think you're missing a piece and it's really hard for me to uh go forward thinking that i'm missing a piece um it's just kind of this weird justification that your brain does your, our brains you know as smart as they are they're also bad for us sometimes <laughs> and i know that doesn't make any sense but your brain will often convince you that something is wrong or bad if it doesn't have an answer for it and uh, and will reward you as soon as you find the answer. So it's pretty hypocritical of the brain to do that, but it does that. 
It's like, no, 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 it's broken, it's broken. And then you solve it, and it's like, hey, man, good thing you stuck with it. I was with you the whole time. You, you did a good job, you know. Maybe that's all this guy needs is a brain or a heart. <laughs> oh, there's definitely something back here. Listen to that. Oh, maybe I got to move it into this magnet. right here maybe this side oh it's behaving weirdly because there's a magnet right there and it's hitting this one so it's repelling I was like oh maybe I found something what a great clue this was that there's a hole there and so instinctively it tells you to go that's see that's simple yet pretty ingenious if you ask me because he could have easily, um, because this thing going in all the way doesn't actually unlock this pin. It actually has to be like that. And for that to be the case, that hole that's there didn't have to be there. And it would have fit perfectly. But who would have, so he gives you a little, he gives you a little hint saying it has to go in there, even though it doesn't have to go fully in there. It's like, a, it's a clever hint. These are little, small little clever touches that I appreciate. All right, Walter. That is your real name. Angry Walter. Oh, he's so angry. He's, he's looking for world dominance. We gotta unplug him. Come on. And the mouth is loose. This is like, has a little bit of give, but nothing, uh, no prying, so. All I can seem to do at this point is just move the magnet around. That is it. it would be cool if like this whole box just like shifted open or something. I don't think it would, but maybe worth a shot. Um, I'm okay. I'm just going to be straight up with you guys. I'm going to write this guy an email and just like, I'm not going to ask him for a solution. I'm just going to ask him if there should be a tool in the first eyes compartment. Okay. So give me one sec, I'll be right back. I just, actually I can do it from here. I got my phone. I'm feeling too comfortable right now. <laughs> like this like solve mode right now is like making me incredibly comfortable that I just feel like chatting with you guys instead of solving. And yeah, I kind of like it. I got not gonna lie. That email is sent. Hopefully he gets back to me. No banging. Cause like my mind again, is just telling me you can't do anything. Like it's impossible to find a solution at this point without that missing tool. But. I might be completely wrong and just completely look like an idiot, you know. Be like, hey, is there supposed to be a thing here? And he's like, no, there isn't. And I'm like, okay, thank you. I'm dumb. What if this cog does turn? No, the nose. Maybe the nose slides or shifts. It seems really glued in there. Like all of this seems like there's no give whatsoever. So that tells me it's just, uh, it's steady. I really feel like this magnet back here has something to do with something. How long have we been at this? All right, about a half, about a half an hour in. Gotta love the simple looking puzzles that have clever designs. This is probably my favorite type of puzzle ever. I'm enjoying this a lot. I actually don't feel pressured right now just because I'm kind of lounged on my couch hanging out with you guys. I've got this insane setup, by the way. This is currently my setup. So as you can see, I got the camera overhead. I got the mic stand. I got a monitor uh, over here. <laughs> and I'm just sitting on my couch. I could get used to this. My job wasn't amazing enough. And now I get to lounge on the couch. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's okay to, it's okay to, to relax sometimes, you know? Not always, uh, life doesn't always have to be stressful. I deal with a lot of stress, believe it or not. Not complaining, but you know, going through things like every other human on this planet and uh, whatever I can do to lighten the load sometimes uh, is worthwhile. Okay, it has to, maybe it has to have something to do with this. Nose. It's gotta go back in the eye socket. Oh, it's 
now stuck there. Oh, that's the magnet in the back. Okay, hold on. That's the sound of me blowing into this hole. <clears throat> Upside down. You laugh now, but that, that's been a solution in the past. Actually, twice? I think twice. Once for the donut hole. And actually, no, once. And once for a lock puzzle, but it was, uh, you had to put your finger on it and then retract something. And then it got stuck and it would dislodge, but not, uh, not the case here, I don't think, because that hole isn't... Uh, there's air passing through the wood somewhere. Going through all of the old solutions in my head right now, just trying to rack my brain. You know, if this guy may have found some, you know, maybe it's just hard because nothing moves. There's And the one thing that's frustrating with a lot of these sequential discovery puzzles is always like if there's an internal maze. The internal maze drives me crazy. Like I... I don't enjoy internal maze, but like when you do get it, it's very satisfying, but I do not enjoy just like trial and error, you know, cause I'm, I'm listening to this thing. I'm really hoping it's not like, and I fear that I, it is one of those things. And it's just, I, I don't understand how, if there's a bearing in here and I find the hole where it goes into that it will magically open this thing. The only thing that I could think is, uh, hear me out. So if there was like a lip on the inside of this, okay? And basically if that bearing is halfway on this side, halfway on this side, that would prevent the mouth from going out. And so in my head, I'm thinking there might be a pocket for that ball to go into so that this comes out if that's stopping it. However, I can literally move it like up and down past here I can move it like in a circle. There's no, there's nothing there that's like, the bearing is not locking this mouth. That I am almost certain of. The bearing is not locking this mouth. Why is the bearing there? I don't know, but it's probably has some purpose. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, aha. Notice, oh, this is cool. Notice, um, the bottom layer, the bottom ring, you can kind of see a little seam. Can you guys see that? You guys see that seam right there? You see it better there on the bottom ring here. I can push up on that seam. Look at that. Oh. There's like a little handle. What? Hold on. I can push that. Sorry if my my fat fingers are getting in the way. Ugh. Okay. I'm pulling, but there's nothing. Oh, what? <laughs> Is that a magic trick? Look what I just found. Hello. Hello. Where did that come from? Was it in there? Because there's like this small groove in there. Uh, it's hard, to, right there. Um, that's probably where it came from. It actually doesn't fit in that small groove. Weird. Oh, so it was on the top? Oh, uh, there's like a hidden compartment up here. Look at that hole where my index finger is. There's a hidden compartment and that's where that was stored. That is insane that is insane all right well we know what to do aha we have retrieved the mouth oh my god <laughs> what did i tell you guys what did i say the bearing had no bearing, for lack of a better word, on how this mouth opened. It was a red herring. Or in this case, <laughs> come on, a red bearing. Okay, he did that on purpose. 
<laughs> a red bearing. Let's go. That is really smart. So this has nothing. I'm not going to lose it. I'm going to put this aside so I don't lose it. But that had nothing to do with the puzzle, I think. I think. And there we have the creator's signature right there. And, what's, and the goal here says to find and remove Walter's black power cell. Black power cell. Oh. This is definitely not a black power cell. Is this? A... Oh, okay. So there's a... Uh, what seems to be... There's like a small crevice in there right here that doesn't move am i sure this is not the solution well how does that open no banging huh i'm really wondering see what that little lip is for in there there's like that little lip in the uh in the eye socket here you can see it right there so maybe i'm supposed to put this in there Uh, it fits in there. Maybe, oh, maybe I just have to like wedge it like that so I can do something else. Maybe. Walter, where is your black power cell? Has something to do with this magnet back here. You put this red bearing here. Still can't get over the play on words. Come on. <laughs> Currently stuck. I thought that was it. No idea what to do at this point. This uh, little wedge that's in there, right here, it does not move whatsoever. It is like completely stuck. I don't want to force it. Um, and I'm thinking maybe this, you know, s switch mechanism has something to do with it. But then again, impossible to to really know because I can't see anything. Also. Uh, the magnet is drawn to this little switch mechanism, uh, but I think the reason I think the reason for that is is because on the bottom of this ring that goes up and down, there is a magnet, and I think that is the very same magnet that is attracted to the back. So I think you know this, that, and that is all interconnected with one magnet, and I don't necessarily believe that that magnet has anything to do with moving this little piece of wood out of the way. So the answer right now is, or the question is, how does that move? Does it come out? Does it go in? Does it slide side to side? That's where the, that's where we're at right now. And I think it might drop down. And if it drops down, that means something's holding it, either by magnet or there's a piece, but there, there are no more moving pieces. Like the inner rings, I tried even moving the inner rings of this eye socket here, but none of them move in any direction whatsoever. What would you guys do right now if you had angry Walter on your lap? What would you do? I'm quite at a loss right now, and it's only been... Wait, did that move? Or is it just my fingernail being pushed in? I think so. It's been about 42 plus the initial... Almost 50 minutes. What's the secret here, Walter? Tell me. That pin, does it have anything else to do with anything? Oh, did I just lose that pin? Yeah, it's here. Whew. Close one. Close, but no cigar. All right. Um, it's about dinner time. I'm actually going to go have some food and come back to this in a while i my brain kind of is saturated right now after about an hour of puzzling and that happens and i just need some food so before i get too hangry <laughs> with this puzzle i should uh, i should definitely get some food to me so i'll be back in a sec um so i got an email back from the creator of the puzzle saying that indeed there was no tool in this compartment so my fear has subsided but as well um now I'm back to square zero <laughs> because had he said, hey, there was a piece in there, then that would give me a reason why I'm being stuck at this point. But because there isn't now, I don't know why I'm stuck. Let's start the timer up again. So, um, that if I 
if I place it in the eye socket, it kind of like stops the eye socket from going down, as you can see right here. I'm not sure what that, because we still need to, I think either extract or push in or slide this little block of wood, but right now it's not moving. Is there, so I'm wondering if there's something inside the, you see where that magnet is there? If there's like a button or a hole or something in there. Let me try something. What if this red bearing, yeah, we're gonna try to place it in the eye socket here. Oh, oh no. Oh no, there, <laughs> so it turns out there's a hole, what? I can't see a hole in there, but apparently there's a hidden hole in here. And I'm not sure if putting the red bearing in there was the proper move or not, but you can hear it rattling around. Oh my goodness, check this out. Okay. There's a compartment in the nasal cavity, okay? Um, the eye socket lifts up and down. The bearing has now rolled here. Lifting up the eye socket has now placed the bearing right about here, underneath the eye socket, and in between what I think is the final compartment. So hopefully, if I press down, Get out of town. So the red bearing was not a red herring after all. And here we go is the final piece. And as mentioned in the beginning, we had to find the black power cell and extract it. And here it is. Can we extract this? Aha. Uh -huh. This is, uh, well, there it is. The black power cell, the only thing preventing Angry Walter from taking over the world has now been extracted. What a journey. Time, so about an hour, which is pretty good. I am not only pleasantly surprised, I am in awe right now about the simplicity yet where your brain goes to get, like this is a really good puzzle, dude. This is a really, really good puzzle. Now this was a prototype. These weren't for sale yet other than a few and I found one, uh, but this is a really, really, good puzzle. I highly recommend this if you're into puzzle solving. Obviously, if you've seen this video, then I don't know, maybe you want to get it for a friend or just have it in your collection, but this is a really good puzzle, dude. Just a fantastic play on simple mechanics, but also, you know, it has that toy feel. It feels like a little toy, like a simple toy, but lo and behold, it's it's evil <laughs> and, uh, and genius, an evil genius. So, Let's put this back together. First off, power cell must go back into, the power cell is now locked in with a magnet. And that magnet was also what was triggering that back there and probably also what was holding this eye socket here. So the metal rod, I need to hold, okay. okay so this needs to go up there and I think the best way to do that is just to push it in. Disappeared, gone. That goes in there. A very vital piece of the puzzle. What we thought was a useless piece, the red bearing, goes here. We gotta push that little button. There's a little button on the bottom. Locks into place, now that is locked. Next, we have this little eye piece, which goes in here. Uh, we now need to put uh, this one in. 
so that we can lock that eyepiece. Just like that, that is now locked. It is not no longer protruding. This, we line that up and take this out, place it back in and et voila, we now have a completed uh, Angry Walter. And man, what a ride this has been, Angry Walter. I absolutely love you. Wow. Ugh. Well, hot dang, baby. Ugh. What a wild ride that was. So much fun. This is actually, my camera's actually propped up on a pillow right now, which is why it's... All right, so hot dang, there you go. That is Angry Walter. What a way to end 2021. Been a crazy year for a lot of people, uh, for this channel included. I think it's a perfect way to end the year because this, I, I could comfortably say, as far as all the sequential discovery puzzles I've solved this year, Walter, I think, takes the cake. I think this is my favorite. I'm trying to think back on all the puzzles. I might be wrong, but I think this is my favorite sequential discovery puzzle of the year. It is absolutely, I, I think without electronics, I'm trying to think. No, I think this one takes the cake, man. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, appreciate a like and a sub. Consider it a Christmas gift to this channel. Merry Christmas, happy holidays to everybody, and we'll see you next week. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.